This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, but more on that later. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kira, and today we are taking a look at some special effects paints. I'm trying to find you quick and easy ways that you can take your models from basic to Instagram ready. So I've gathered a whole load of special effects paints from all different brands and a few minis to try them out on. I've got everything here from frost effects, blood effects, streaking grime. Some of these are new to me and some of them I have tried before. I, I've got Yoohoo glue here, which if you know, you know, um, but follow along and we're going to see how these work and which ones are worth your money and worth your time. I often get to the point with my miniatures where I think, okay, that'll do, that's done. But I want to take them that little bit further. In front of us, we have a whole host of miniatures at various painted stages, and we're going to show you what these effects look like on the actual models. First up, we have Dirty Down Moss Effect. This is a water soluble paint, so you're free to mix it up and thin it with water and just a normal brush. Dab it on, there you go, easy peasy. The thicker you put this on, the darker it will be. I like to mix it up and use it neat and use it thin down just to get lots of nice textures on there. Here it is finished looking really realistic. I think this looks awesome. Next up, we're using Yoohoo glue. This is one of my favorite ways to spice up a model really quickly. We're going to make saliva strands. So just take it straight from the tube on a little cocktail stick, manipulate it all about the model wherever you want it, but do work quickly because this dries very, very fast. It goes very stringy, but it just has such a cool effect. And here we have our completed drooly saliva looking sloppy boy. I think this works so well and it took no time at all and very little effort. Using that same Yoohoo glue mixed with a little bit of blood effect, we're going to make some gore. I like to use the coagulated blood by Green Stuff World just because it's darker in color, but you can use any blood effect that you have at home. Just give it a mix with a cocktail stick or the end of a brush and apply it directly onto the model. I'm popping it on probably a little bit heavier than I would normal, just so you can see a little bit easier here on camera, but just manipulate it all around, get it looking as stringy or gloopy as you want, and it'll set pretty much whatever way you apply it on. It can get a little bit messy. Oh, see, a little bit messy, but that's okay. That's what it looks like when it is dry. It looks like you have just slain your enemy with some magic ninja stars. Vallejo vomit effect. I kind of expected this to be lumpy in the bottle. I'm not sure why. I just poured it directly on. I gave it a smear around with a brush and really had to wait for this to dry before I could tell what it was supposed to look like. But it dries glossy. The bubble stayed in it. I think it looks like fresh spew, which is awesome. Vallejo Frost Effect has worked wonders for me in the past. I found that putting it on directly from the bottle worked better than applying with a brush, but this time it just, it nothing happened. I was really sad, <laughs> just nothing happened. On the third base there, you can kind of see a little bit of crystallization formed on one of those flat rocks. And um, maybe it can only work on plastic. I'm not sure that's what it's supposed to look like there on the lid, but oh, I was so sad because this actually looks really cool when it works. Tesseract Glow is probably in your staple collection if you're a Necron player, but if you haven't seen it before, this is a quick and easy way to get a glow effect. Just pop it on top of your model wherever you want to glow. Give it a little under highlight of white to really show it up and give it an even glowier center. But once it dries, it just looks like a little glowy, glowy light there. It's awesome. Blood for the blood god. Everyone knows this paint and for a reason. It is so easy to use. Just pop it on your weapons or anywhere else you want a blood effect. Less is more with this and it just instantly makes it look like your model is fresh off the battlefield. Look at it. Spicy little boy. Green Stuff World Splash Gel is a very easy to use water effect. It goes on thick. You can manipulate it easily with a brush and then it dries from white to clear. Use this on top of still water to give ripples. I'm using it here on the edge of a water element just to give a little bit more realism. But when it dries, it looks really nice and looks like a nice wave. Nihilac Oxide is a GW technical paint. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, but this is a great way to weather any bronzy, brassy color metals on your mini. Pop it anywhere that water would naturally collect. So underneath rivets and in between chains, that sort of thing. Less is definitely more because this is very bright and when it dries, it gives a fab effect with very little effort. Now a quick word from our video sponsors. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. A VPN also swaps the location of your device with a new one, aka changing your IP address. Why would you want to do that? Well, picture this. 
Imagine you're relaxing in your hobby room, waiting for some paint to dry, and you want to watch your favorite TV show. Because, face it, watching paint dry is boring. You can't. It's not there. Disaster. Surfshark will access and unblock content and streaming services from other countries, so no matter where you are or what you are doing, you can watch whatever you want. Masking your IP address is essential to becoming private online and make sure that your city, country and download history aren't linked to your identity. Even better, Surfshark's clean web feature blocks ads, trackers, malware and phishing attempts, allowing you safe access to the internet. Sounds good? Use the link in the description below to get 83% off, plus three extra months for free. Surfshark also offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's absolutely no risk to trying it out. Right, let's get back to the video. Green Stuff World Natural Earth Pigments in Wild Moss. This is a moss effect, essentially. I don't have a huge amount of experience with pigments, so I went a little bit heavy-handed when I first tried this out, and I had to blow some of it away. You can use a pigment fixer with this, or you can just varnish over top. Either way, it's going to look great, especially on big terrain pieces or trees or anything like that. You can put it on very heavy, layer it, it's, it's really easy to use. The hype is real for Dirty Down Rust Effect and for good reason. This stuff is insane. It's water soluble, just like their Moss Effect. I would recommend layering this by putting it on neat, putting it on watered down because it's all going to dry down into loads of different nice textures and different colors. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Totally foolproof. You need a pot of this. Green Stuff World Spider Serum and Cleaner. I was so excited to try this, but man, I could not get this to work at the beginning. <laughs> it ended up, uh, after we panicked and tried to clean it out, it ended up we added a tiny bit of water to it. And that is really when it started to pump through the airbrush. And when I say our room was full of cobwebs flying around. <laughs> now remember, these aren't actual cobwebs. These are probably, I think they're plastic filaments. So do this outside and wear a mask um, because otherwise your house is going to be full of rogue plastic filaments but my god does it work look at that that looks like it was taken straight from Shelob's lair <laughs> this is going to take some practice to get any sort of finesse I think but it just it looks really realistic you can't deny that looks like a cobweb I'm really impressed with this even though we had a mild panic attack at the beginning <laughs> Nurgle's Rot if you're looking for a way to make your gross minis even grosser this is probably what you need. It's like a slimy green blobby paint that dries glossy and adds pustules and grossness to any mini. Just, just dot it on and let it dry. That's it. Really easy to use and gives a really nice effect. Vallejo Acid Effect. Again, I didn't really know what to expect with this, so I just poured it directly on a base like a little acid puddle and manipulated it around with a brush. It felt like I was just pouring contrast paint on a base so I wasn't sure how this was going to look but it dries glossy does it look like acid I don't know I've never seen a puddle of acid typhus corrosion is a great way to give that corroded rusty nasty sort of metal feel to any of your weapons just pop it on it's very textured it's not great for your brushes make sure you're washing your brushes leave it to dry and then give it a little dry brush of an orange I'm using rise of rust and you can dry brush it with a silver on top of that as well it really helps weather up those weapons and make it look like you spent a lot of time on them. Green Stuff World Orc Blood. This behaves exactly the same way as a blood effect. So if you've used a blood effect before, you can use this one easily. It is green, green for orcs. This is really going to make your model stand out because I don't think a lot of people would have this. All right, guys, that's it. We've tried all of the effects. What do you think? I'm impressed. I'm impressed with most of them. Um, the pigment, the moss pigment, I was really, really impressed with. I've not used anything like that before. Um, I don't really know what to make of the spider web serum. It, it obviously does what it says, but that stuff is crazy. <laughs> um, we made a mess in here. The Yoohoo glue I'm going to be using on loads of models, I think. And then some of them like the Nurgle's Rot are foolproof, but some of them really, really need a little bit of practice. Like for me, Typhus Corrosion has so much potential, but I think I possibly need to practice with that one a little bit more. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments if there's any other ones you want me to try or if there's any that you love that we've missed. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more live painting, make sure and follow me on Twitch. The link will be down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, subscribe to the channel <laughs> so you don't miss any future videos. And if you missed it, make sure and go back and watch the contrast paint comparison video because that was a good one too. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us and I'll catch you next time. Bye.